those are often the poses I get when I'm thinking about what I'm going to say. Like what I had to do to think about what I'm going to say right now. Anyways, welcome back everyone to the life of an outdoorsman. Thanks for joining me. But before we get into today's content, we need to go to yesterday's content, which was... smoking it in a smoker. So to start the process off here, I had a brine that I made up. This is uh, the ratios of a gallon of water to a cup of brown sugar and half a cup of salt. And that's just a ratio, so you can scale that up or scale that down depending on how many fish you have. But I think I did about a recipe and a half for the amount of fish that I had. And you want to let it sit in there for about a day or overnight, um, depending on what's convenient for you. I wouldn't go much more than two days. And as an additional note, you will want to make sure that your fish is totally covered in brine. So if you have to put it something in there to keep them down into the brine, that would be good. So here's the setup that I have. I have my fish that have been sitting in my brine I have my table here, I'll explain this in a minute. I have my racks, I have the smoker, it's gonna go right into the smoker once we're done prepping them, prepping the uh, fillets. So now we're gonna prep the fish for the smoker and there's many different ways that people do their fish for smoking. You can do a whole fish, you know, cut the head off, gut it, and leave the skin on and you get much more moist smoke or you could take fillets leave the skin on you get drier fillets but still a little bit moist because that skin is the barrier not letting the moisture out or there's the way I like to do it where you take the skin off maybe even take the fillet if they're thick fillets cut them right down the middle so they're thinner and then you get real nice it's almost like fish jerky but it's it's dry um, Pack full of flavor, smoke flavor. I like I like heavy smoke flavor, and uh, so we're gonna take these fillets. We're gonna take the skin off. We're gonna chop them down lengthways so that they're, they're thinner. Take the take the thickness of the fillet, chop it down in half, and then take all those pieces, put them on the racks, and get them in the smoker. So let's get to that part.
now that we have the smoker all filled up, I have another batch I have to do here after this, but we're going to get this prepped for smoking. We got to make some wood chips. We got to light it up and get it started. So like I had mentioned earlier in the video, I already did a batch of smoked fish, so I have the chips all ready to go here. But what I did is I took a piece of maple, chopped up into like kindling basically, and I take the kindling and my loppers and I just chop it into small chunks. It's the easiest, quickest way to make smoking chips. It's as easy as that. So let's get this smoker rolling. fish, it's lit, the chips are in there, it's closed up, now all we have to do is wait and let it do its magic. Sneak peek. <clears throat> so let's talk temperatures. Um, this all depends on which smoker you have. I know there's wide ranges from homemade to all the way up to digitally controlled everything, but this one right here, it's just got a high and low it's got a temperature gauge on the side here but typically what I'm doing is I'm smoking on low you want a low heat and fairly good smoke it has a vent on the side and the back and I have those opened up so the heat doesn't build up inside I've read online that you want to smoke at a lower temperature for about two hours or an hour and a half and then about another hour and a half two hours on a little higher heat to kind of dry it out more I just stick with low heat all the way through the uh, temperature right now is about a hundred and thirty Fahrenheit but this is still heating up so if you want to be on the safer side, go with a little more heat, and uh, you can close those vents up, still leave it on low, but it depends on your smoker. Each smoker will be different. This one in particular, I cook it on low, and I cook it for about three hours, four hours, depends on, uh, on what I'm smoking in there. These will probably sit in here for about four hours. So I'm going to go grab some supper. Let this sit for about half an hour, 45 minutes, roughly, and then come and check the chips, check the, uh, uh, the heat, and then let it run some more. Just keep maintaining it every half hour, every 45 minutes, and you should be good. And then you want that nice, dry, you'll see. As a little added disclaimer here, how do I put this? The recipes we use, the temperatures we use, they may, may not be um, official or recognized by standards of any sort, but they're good for us, they work for us, and there may be some people that say, oh, this temperature's not enough to cook the fish and this may and may not be true certified cooked is at 72 degrees Celsius and we may be cooking at lower temperatures than that or smoking at lower temperatures than that but there are temperatures you can cook at lower than 72 degrees for prolonged periods of time and I'm not saying that these temperatures and this recipe is good for you. I'm just saying this works for us and it tastes great and each smoker is going to be different like I said before so you're just going to have to try it and uh, learn 
how your smoker cooks your fish and uh, let's see how these ones turn out so here we are about 45 minutes later let's open it up and see how it's going oh she's looking pretty good you see the tips are starting to get a little bit brown here drying out but we're out of wood chips here at the bottom so I'm gonna fill it up with some wood chips and let her sit longer Well, I had to set up a light here because it got dark outside and it's too dark in this woodshed for uh, to see much in here. But let's open it up and see where it's at. Those are looking perfect. Nice brown. Just a little bit squishy on the inside. Some of the thin ones got a little too dried out. Some of the ones in the back there at the bottom. But uh, these are looking pretty perfect. Still too hot to hold on to. Let's grab a glove here. Check those out. Those are perfect. Smells amazing. Tastes even better. Wow, that's good. Mm -hmm. That's just, that's just good. That is tasty. Little bits on the under, just like jerky. Let's get a closer look. So, just got myself a plate here. Start unracking this and take it inside. Let's set up there. Actually, might be cold enough. It's cold enough. Have the door open for a minute. Start unracking it and put it on the plate. Take it inside. And the last one. There we go. Now, turn our gas off. And 
here's our beautiful plate of smoked fish. Just gorgeous. Thanks for watching The Life of an Outdoorsman. I hope you uh, enjoyed the video. I'm sure enjoying it. See you next time.